Shout out our sponsors, GW Competitions. They run regular draws for you to win different prizes from cash to Rolexes to cars and all sorts. It's all legit and the draw is run through the Google number generator. And the prize is delivered the next day and if it's cash, it's transferred the same day. The draws are run on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. And you've got to be in it to win it. Ayo, we made this. MO7 did it again. And we're back again, Big Ego Media Entertainment. Today we've got another special guest, we've got Jay Dot. So, um, I'll be honest, when I was um, told about you at the beginning, I didn't know much, and then I see that you're sort of a Snapchat sensation, and intrigued, intrigued to find out more. So, for many people who, like myself, who wouldn't have known your story or history, we'll start from the very beginning, then we'll get to what you're doing now and your whole transition. So... Um, where are you from? Where's your, where's your parents from? Which nationality? Um, my mom's from Cameroon, and my dad's from Lviv. Okay, so do you speak French? Yeah, I speak French. Really. French what about Lingala? Nah, no Lingala. Don't speak Lingala too. No, nah, no. Nah. You don't know anything about it. No, nah, I understand a couple of words in that. So how did you know about the tabard then? Uh, obviously, like growing up, my mom was just like, if you get me, she's like been with my dad, so okay. for a while, like not now, but like for a while at the yeah. time. So yeah, like man, just grew up on that. Okay, and Pondu. Yeah, Pondu, everything. Like, okay. Naba, What's your Panda. favourite food, by the way? Um, what, like, yeah, traditional, yes, yeah. just in general? Whatever, in general, yeah. Um, I don't know, I'm probably like, I don't know, probably like, something like Chinese or something. Chinese, you know? okay, yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> I say no more. Yeah. All right, so, um, what, you call it? what area did you grow up in? Newham, Cannon Town. New Cannon Town. Uh, yeah. What school did you go I went um primary school, Hallsville, and secondary school, Kingsford and Beckton. Okay. Yeah. So what what was your sort of ambition as a kid? What what did you want to be growing up? Um football, innit? It was always football, like did you get me? Like football, youth club days, man will go and fucking um do music and that, like from young, you get me? Yeah. But I just wanted to be a footballer really. Was you a good footballer? I was cold, I can't lie, like <laughs> Decent or no, I was good still. Like even like even till now, I still kind of try to say that like, I should be playing like League Two football and that. Well, what what like, position? Kind of up front or you know what? Wing. We're happening with looking for strikers. You know, you know, yeah. run happening with football club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're looking for strikers and. Stri- there. I had my own. I had my own team as well. I made my own team. Okay, okay. Yeah. So like, I had my own team, Oro FC. When I was in Division One, Essex Alliance. Okay. Obviously, um, team folded. Financials, no, nah, not even financials. <laughs> like, like, it wasn't even a thing where I was trying to profit from it or anything. Mm. It's just like, oh, like, I opened it for the man, then, yeah. Obviously, I ended up getting recalled in that, innit? So, I was like, running it, running a club kind of just went yeah. downhill, and then, yeah, like, so everything was proper. I had our own kits, okay, everything was proper, like, I had our home, home pitch. Like, was well, there decent in the league and that, but yeah, it just ended up folding. So, uh, how, how was you at sort of school, so academically? Um, I got kicked out like with um, like with two weeks, two three weeks left of year eleven, but I've already like already completed my GCSEs. Okay. You get me? So I failed one GCSE, and I left with ten. And the GCSE I failed was the subject I thought I was gonna pass, and which was PE. Okay, so you failed PE. Yeah, I think my theory let me down. Oh, okay. Your theory? Yeah, okay. My theory. Yeah, I would say like, practical. I would say cool, yeah. Yeah, my theory let me down. But I passed us in the B-Tech level two, so it was kind of like equivalent in it. But, okay, so where yeah. did you go to college after? Haver in sixth form. I mean, you said that you got kicked out a few weeks before um, school ended. I mean, yeah. what happened? Why would, why would the school kick you out? Uh, just, uh, to be fair, I'm surprised they didn't really like, kick me out sooner, in it. But like, I just kept on getting chance after chance after chance. You get yeah. me? And then like we just said, yo, like, I think like, within like a month to go, roughly, they said, like, yo, like can't have you here no more but these times they're just letting me come in for exams and yeah. whatever whatever in it so i still got every, managed to get everything complete i mean uh, how was home life how's the discipline at home um 
just strict like African household, mm. isn't it? Like, to get me that like, strict to about like year nine, that's mm. when it started getting a bit more lenient. Okay. I mean, like teachers ring, like you're you're panicking that like, yeah. you know when you go home it's gonna be a bit peak, isn't it? But I mean, so growing up in Newham, because like I said, um, I grew up in Peckham, but I got a family in Canning Town myself, so yeah. my, my my family grew up over there, and. Like I said, when I used to go to New York, it used to be sort of calm and peaceful. But you're at the age of where it's, it sort of became a big issue in, in Newham. Like, how did you find what's, what's going on now in Newham? And how do you sort of manoeuvre yourself within the, the sphere of what's happening in Newham right now? Obviously, like, in Newham, I didn't get myself involved in postcode war. Yeah. You get me? Like, I was about my money. Mm. You get me from early. So like I've got friends all over New York. Yeah. I mean, I find that me personally, I find um any type of postcode war, like I think that's dead, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's like, you know what I mean? Like I find it dead. So me, I just like got about in New York, and everyone knows I I was never part of the north side, south side mm. beef. Do you know what I mean? So I just cut through in it, yeah. make my money. I mean, I, mean? I, I I do think I guess then you was able to to do that because there's others who feel that they have to affiliate themselves to south side or north side how was you able to say you know what i'm cool with everyone because that's how it should be you know it is it's like obviously i like growing up in the ends i was kind of surrounded by orders yeah. that was chasing money rather mm. than doing the beef thing you yeah. know what i mean so obviously I don't want to mention names and that, but like, if you know, man, like you know that obviously the people I was around, they're still cert- they're still certified in the ends, but yeah. there wasn't their focus was never um, war. You know what I mean? So yeah. I kind of got influenced by the money side of side of things yeah. rather than oh yeah, this man's from that area. Yo, let's go get him down. You know what I mean? Like, mm. I focused on the peas, and then yeah, that just kind of. And have you ever had the sort of people st- from the other side say, well, well, you're still from that area, so have you ever had the sort of issues with that? Mm, yeah, but obviously, like, that's been cleared up because obviously, like, people see me with certain people yeah. and, like, people get immature and start feeling that type of way, you know yeah. what I mean? So there's been that probably three, four times I've had to kind of, like, clear it up, you know yeah. what I mean? But obviously... I've got friends all over New York, so I know I know that like, a lot of people that don't know what I'm on or don't know my story, yeah. they're the ones that will kind of be asking questions, like funny yeah. questions, like, oh, yo, like, like oh, what's Jada on? Like, mm. Do you get me? Oh, is he with you, man? Or, mm. Do you get me? But, yeah, so, because I'm, mean, I'm all connected, it's like, yeah. that's just been, yeah. I mean, what is Jada on then? Because, for example, then you said that you end up, you said earlier you've been recalled, so you, you went to prison. How old were you when you first went to prison? Um, just turned 19. Turned 19, and yeah. what was that for? Uh, got caught with a firearm. Caught with a firearm. Mm. So, I mean, like you said, you was someone not involved in anything. Yeah. So what was the need to have a firearm? Just to protect yourself because you're making money, or what was it? Yeah, literally, like, like, we're at it, innit? So, like, doing certain... Doing, doing certain things, mm. like I said, I'm about my money, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, there's a lot of evil out here, so just got to make sure one's moving correct, mm. literally. Um, so, I mean, so, uh, uh, how did your parents take it? You got into prison? Um, it was kind of like a mm, surprise for mm. my mum, you know what I mean? Like, obviously, when you're having to explain, oh, like, yeah, I got caught with a gun or this is, it was always a weird conversation, yeah. but yeah, like she just she supported me while I was in jail and that, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, it was kind of a shock for her still. I mean, I see you with your brother. Is he older brother or younger brother? Older, older. Older brother. Yeah. So, as an older brother, was you f- following in his influence or was he telling you, no, a lie? Because I said, I openly say I followed my brother's influence to the gangs. Yeah. He's put him on the spot now. What would you say? Did you follow his influence or was he telling you to calm it? No, you know what it is like we ain't got a big age gap, do you know what I mean? Okay. So we're kind of on the same thing. Yeah. Like we're on that like we're literally on the same thing. Like mm. that's like that's my that's my bro, isn't it? Yeah. Like to get me. Like yeah, we advise each other certain stuff and that what we're like we're out in it. So yeah. it's like you know what I mean, it's not like man's following him or he's following me. Yeah. 
we're making like we're doing the same type of things, isn't it? So I mean, how was how was prison for you? Where did you go first? Um, Penteville. Penteville, straight away. Yeah. I mean, was that a baptism of fire for you? Did, you? did you find it easy over there? Was there any sort of issues, or were you just calm over there? At the time, at the time, um, obviously, I had a couple of people on C wing that I knew already. Do you get okay. me? So I went A wing. I was um, with one of my boys, Hassan. Obviously, he's not he's not here no more. But yeah, I was with one of my boys, Hassan, and then um, I went straight to C wing, and I was with a couple of my my boys that were there already, you know what I mean? So it was like, it was all familiar faces, innit? How, how long did you get in jail? I, got, I ended up getting um, five years. And do two so, and a half? Yeah, doing, a, yeah, doing two and a half. Yeah. So you done the whole but, two and a half? But obviously, um, I caught extra days because while I was on remand, I thought I was going to bust case, you yeah. know what I mean? So I was kind of like fucking about and, do you know what I mean? And I ended up catching extra days. Mm. So I ended up doing just uh, under three years. I mean, how did, how did it even catch you in the first place? Was you under observation, or just by chance? Oh, by chance, literally. Yeah. By a chance, that like, so in a in a car, uh, fucking police car stopped us, was behind us. I'm saying to my boy, like, bro, like, you reckon you can take chase? But like, the boy that I'm with, he's not even like that. Mm. He just goes uni. Yeah. Just a calm, just a calm guy. So he's like, oh, Jada, I don't think I can take chase, you know. I was like, oh, what do you think they want? And like, they, these times they're behind us, you know what I mean? Mm. What do you think they want? So, oh, they probably just want to chat to me about my car or something, you yeah. know what I mean? So obviously, I'm saying to him, all right, cool, step out and step out and see what um, they want, innit? Mm. So cool, they've um, stopped the car, he stepped out now, he's speaking to them, speaking to them. These times I've got my thing on me, whatnot, whatnot. Obviously, and then the officer comes to the window, taps the window, dush, dush, dush. Oh yeah, I need you to step out of the vehicle, mate. I'm like, oh, cool. Steps out of the vehicle now. He's like, oh yeah, we just want to clear you, make sure something's happened in the area. Yeah. Obviously, something's happened in the area. We just want to make sure that it wasn't you lot that had anything to do with it. These times, we ain't done anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. Steps out of the vehicle now and it's like, yeah, put your hands where we can see them. I've showed them my hands and I'm just gone. Do you get me? Okay. Just skated out through the thing. And ended up getting caught, caught that thirty minutes later, and they just kind of linked it, innit? So, okay, okay. Yeah. Then you thought you, you thought you were gonna bust it. Obviously, the mad thing is, is like obviously, um, when I was getting stopped, I kind of, I kind of t- obviously I had gloves on, so I kind yeah. of, I've kind of taken off my gloves. Do you mm. know what I mean? Because like, oh fuck, man, like, I've got gloves on. Let me take off my gloves, innit? Because mm. it's a bit weird, like it's like what two a.m. I've got gloves on. Why have I got gloves on? Type thing, innit? Yeah. So I've taken it off, put it in my pocket. So when I've got out of the car and ran off, I knew that I couldn't grab the thing the team, and, yeah. and like, mob like, you know what I mean? So mm. I've kind of like gone like this, mm. you know what I mean? I've kind of gone like that and I like, kind of heard it dropped. So I was like, oh fuck, I didn't throw it far enough to yeah. get me. But when I've been caught and when I've gone jail now, I'm saying to my solicitor, yo, that, well, I might as well plead guilty in it because my fingerprints are going to come back mm. on it, you know what I mean? I threw it with my bare hands, you know what I mean? Yeah. But I was like, no, nah, nah, just wait and whatnot, whatnot. When the evidence has come through and all of that, there's no prints, yeah. <laughs> no prints on the, the gun. So I'm like, oh, that. I'm taking this to trial. Bro. I'm mm. saying, this this wasn't me. This not my my gun. You know what I mean? So yeah, literally. Yeah. And then pff, jury just didn't believe my story. And but what, what court did you have to go to? Uh, Snellsbrook. Okay. Yeah, I mean, why you're in there doing your time what what are your sort of thoughts about the outside what are your plans are you thinking oh fucking no i failed in life or what what what, what, what are you thinking at, the, at that time yeah i was getting hard on my kickboxing thing you okay. know what i mean so i was like oh fuck man that like, literally like see money i've always made money i i, kept, I know that like, cool that like, when i went in jail i was still like maneuvering mm. doing what i needed to do but like see money that like, I wasn't really thinking, oh, I'm missing out on peas. I was more like thinking, oh, I'm a kickboxing man. Like if I if I get found guilty, man, know that. But I'm like basically two and a half years behind in it. You know. So you're actually like, doing kickboxing as a sort of competition. Yeah, like yeah, like I had the, my first pro fight when I was 17. Okay. Because so because obviously you, saying? you got you got hands then. Yeah, like literally, like. So when, man, them, uh, like you have to watch out. You have to approach him with caution still. <laughs> approach with caution. Like, yeah. Trust me. So I mean, let's just talk about that. Like, what got you in, into kickboxing? Is it something that we don't really hear about in the black community? Yeah, no. Nah, right, cool. This is my story. How I got into kickboxing. Yeah, it's like, literally, when I was um, 
coming back from dentist yeah um with my mom my sister she was pregnant at the time my brother to get me and these times my brother started kickboxing from like a year year before mm. do you know what i mean so obviously he's, he's been doing kickboxing for a year now but i, I haven't i haven't jumped in yeah. i haven't jumped on i think i went one session and i said nah this is not for me dead do what you're doing in it mm. But he's here, he's telling me, yo, j Doc, man, come, like, come to the gym, bro. Like, they're teaching me some serious stuff, and I'm like, bro, how can you teach someone how to fight that? Like, mm. Do you know what I mean, bro? Like, you can, you can have a fight or you can't fight, man. That's yeah. all bullshit, man. So I'm naive in that sense, mm. isn't it? Cool, so I'm coming back from the dentist now with my mum, my sister, my brother, and some mutes from, some mutes from the ends. Like, there was, like, some um, pastor that was getting on. They've tried to come and approach man, mom and my mum, my sister. Mm -hmm. And obviously my brother started arguing with them. I'm just obviously, I'm just standing there waiting, like, waiting to see what's going to happen, mm. like, kind of waiting. And then one of them basically tried to fucking um, push my brother in the face like that. Okay. And he, he's, my, brother just, <laughs> my brother just whacked up, like, whacked them up differently, mm. you know what I mean? Like two of them, mm. you get me? So he's just like, but the way my brother's maneuvering, he's maneuvering. He's maneuvering. Like, obviously, I'm joining in, mm. but I'm just running around wild, that like, friend, mm. some wild bangs, yeah. fly kicks. But the way my brother's maneuvering, jab cross, bah, 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 like, what? Come, come. Bah, bah, bah. I'm thinking, mm. oh shit, like, you know what I mean? I'm thinking, bro, like, my mum's all like, screaming and that, you know what I mean? Oh, stop, 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 all of that, yeah. My sister, she's pregnant and that, so she's like, fuck him up, fuck him up. Do you get me, mm. yeah? <laughs> we were mad, cool. What, what, what? Obviously, I'm looking at that, I'm just throwing my bangs now. Yeah. Boom, boom, they even ended up running off. But yeah, like, after that, I was like, I was like to my bro, like, bro, like, what is this? Like, bro, you moved, like, you, like, moved to the man there, mm. like, you know what I mean? Like, these times I'm, like, but, like, 13, 14, innit? Yeah. Like, like, bro, you moved to them, where? Like, bro, nah, fuck this, man. man man's, man's joining the gym now, mm. you get me? Like, bro, the way you, like, obviously, like, when we went home, my mum's kind of laughing about the situation. Yeah. She's laughing at how I was manoeuvring. Obviously, yeah. I was back in the ting, but <laughs> she's like, oh, oh, like, you wasn't, you get me? Yeah, like, well, yeah. My brother was moving active, you get <laughs> yeah. me? So I was like, bro, you know what, fuck this now. I was trying to the gym, you mm. get me? Trying the gym. I went there at first. It was more on a thing where that like, raw. See how my brother was maneuvering, even can handle himself in it. So mm. I was like, raw, cool. Let me join the gym. And it was more like I wasn't really trying to compete. Yeah. I mean, but as I was going to the gym now, um, they were like, oh yeah, we think you should um, compete and fight for our gym. What I want, I'm like, oh, no, I don't really wanna, don't really wanna like fight in it. Like, yeah. To get me and then. One time I just said, you know what, fuck it, let me try it. Mm. And then I tried that, um, something called an interclub. So you go to other people, so another person's gym and that, it's like a organized event, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, it's not nothing pro or anything. And then I had a fight, moved to the guy, quick, quick, quick. And then, yeah, like, from then I was just like, you know what, fuck it, I want to become a fighter, but I want to yeah. become a kickboxer. Like, that's how I, like, yeah, that's how it started. Would you, would you ever think it's all about Olympics at this time? Is it, is it, is it, is no, it's Olympics not, sport? no, no, no. It's not, okay. No. But would you think, okay, I want to make do this as, as profession, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. It, is there a lot of money in it or not that much money in it? Um, you know what it is? It's not like boxing, innit? It's not yeah. like millions of fat and that. But you see, for me now, like, it's more of a thing where I don't really care about the, the money in it. Do yeah. you know what I mean? It's more like I actually like, like I fell in love with the sport. Because yeah. you got to remember, like, football was kind of like the sport where man wanted to make it and it's yeah. like, oh, it's not really happening, do you get me? Mm. People around man are going to clubs and whatnot, what, and it's not really happening for me. So when now I've got into kickboxing, I've actually fell in love with that. So I'm like, right, you know what? Man can make it in it, like, make it in this. It's not like even if I can make it, it's when I'm going to make yeah. it, do you know what I mean? So yeah, it wasn't, I wasn't really focused on the money side of kickboxing because yeah. there's like plenty of other ways to actually make money, do you know what I mean? But yeah, it's it decent pay, innit? Decent pay is still. So obviously when you, you've you gone to jail now, you're thinking, you, you realise, you know what? This is done now. But is yeah. it a thing that way with a criminal record you couldn't get back into it? No, no, you can get back into it, but it's just like time wasted, isn't it? Yeah. Like I was in jail thinking, bro, if I get if I get found guilty, it's just time wasted, you know yeah. what I mean? That like I was trying to train in my cell and do things like that, but it's it's different, isn't it? It's different when you've got like a coach in front of you, yeah. you know what I mean? And telling you, yo, you're doing this wrong or yo, you're doing that right, you know what I mean? Did, did you ever watch Kickbox out the film? Um yeah, yeah, I've watched mm. it, yeah. Just, so I mean you, you didn't come out of prison. Uh, how, how long ago did you come out now? How long have you been out? Uh, been out since oh uh, nineteen February. Oh, oh, 19. So I made it to Cat D, innit? You made it to Cat D. Yeah. Which which one did you go to? 
I went um, Fawn Cross. Okay, where's that? Fawn Cross is like near Blackpool. Okay. Wow, wow. Yeah. They sent you them ways. Yeah, but sent me uh, like I went. I've been seven jails on my sentence. Like, okay. So um, so let me Fawn Cross and then done like three four months in there and then went Spring Hill. Finished okay. up at Spring Hill. Okay. Yeah. Then yeah. So so when you when you're out now, um, 2019. Would you sort of speak and rapping at this time, or was you rapping from back in the day? I've been rapping from back in the day, yeah. Like, was it always J Dot, or was it? I know it was a mad name. J Dot, J Dot. Like, obviously, before I've even released anything, it was a other funny name like Young King, yeah. Bullet, mm. like very different names. But like when I first, like first time I ever even put out any type of music out there was J Dot. Mm. You get me? So like it's kind of like yeah, I put out like two, three videos and like minimal funding i used to record my own videos yeah. as i was young like mm. you know what i mean very young like for, like these are still the same time i'm doing kickboxing yeah. you get me because like i'm good at multitasking i do a lot of stuff do you mm. know what i mean so i was like cool i'm putting out music two three videos and that but then i've stopped and i was like oh, that's a myth but when i was in cat d literally like, i was like you know what like i'm in a better position like obviously like i said like when I was inside, nothing like really stopped in it. Like, I was mm. still, I was still making, if you get me, peas, yeah. whatnot, whatnot. Do you know what I mean? So I'm like, right, you know what? Man's in a better position now. I can actually fund fund my music thing properly, innit? Mm. So I might as well just start writing. With like literally like four or five months ago, while I was in Cat D, I just started writing. When I was coming out on like home leaves and that, I hit the studio, and then yeah. Just and what was recording. this? What was the sound coming out? Because. I mean, music has been changing. You, you, you yeah. have the traditional hip hop, which is kind of now coming back into the mainstream yeah, yeah, yeah. again. But then also drills sound. Then you got the sort of being from Newham, the grime sound. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. I've been listening to your music, it's it's jumpy. Yeah. And it's it's not. I, I I don't know what sort of genre I can really put in. What yeah. where, where would you classify yourself? You know, it is yeah. Because obviously, I started off with grime, innit? it. Yeah. You know I mean, that was just like yeah. I started off with grime music. Mm. Um, and obviously, while I was in jail. I started writing drill. I started writing drill lyrics. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I, I'll say it's kind of like a <laughs> mixture of both, innit? Okay, do you know okay. what I mean? I don't. Me personally, I don't think I sound like anybody we can, else. We can, we can call it a new genre right now. You put uh, grime and drill together. Grill. 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 Yeah. Uh, grill. We coined that first. <laughs> we coined that first. That would make Wiley happy because Wiley, grill. Uh, Wiley don't like no one saying uh, grime is dead. But, mm. but I mean, so who was you sort of listening to? Who was you listening to them days? Growing up. Mm. Um, I used to listen to a lot of, of American rappers yeah. growing up, but like in the UK, I'll say um, like Skepta, Dappy, like Channel AKA, Channel U, these mm. gigs. Um, yeah, like. You, 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 uh, I'm putting the spot. You're back in jail. Yeah. God forbid, touch yeah. wood. Yeah, you're back in jail. Yeah. And they're, they're going to put one person's music in the cell you have to do for the rest of your sentence. What album is that? Or who, who, who what, what artist is that? Uh, so back in Joe, one. Well, I'll probably listen to myself, you know. Yeah, why, not? <laughs> why not? Why not? Why but not? if you say the part for myself, um, mm. but, oh, music, that one. one person. One person. Well, I'll probably have fucking. Listen to some Congolese music, bro. Ah, some why coffee not, or something. Why not? <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Why not? Why not? But so, I mean, one of the things I've seen that that sort of captivated captivated me mm. was that I see this this uh, your your video and you got this this, this uh, the grow house yeah. that rabbit. So I mean, what is it about that? Is that something that you is, is it is it a, a parody thing that you're doing like this joke thing? Yeah. Thing? Or is it something that that this is your living? And please don't incriminate yourself. <laughs> but you, you understand how I'm saying it, like if you know, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, so, literally, literally in it. Like yeah. if you know, you know. But yeah, anything that I've posted for motivational purposes. For motivational purposes. Like, yeah. All publicity stunts and Yeah, I'd rather motivate motivate the young G's to to get money, like something that's like like something that's driven by money, you know, mm. like, you know what I mean? Rather than be posting other shit like yeah. giving verbal to your off or yeah. you know what I mean because a lot of that shit goes on these days I mean, you know what I mean? mean just just on that as well because I was speaking to your manager earlier yeah. and I was saying the difficulty sometimes because I manage um, triplets who are just good kids they're free, okay. free, free yeah. Congolese boys from East London yeah. and they're good kids they're not on no badness they just get onto their schools and 
they, 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 they're sort of rapping about being wavy kids and so on. I mean, mm. I could say in a sense that you're not really talking about no violence. Your 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 music is fun and banter and yeah. Do you think having it like that? There's a, I mean, I will say there's a space for it, but do you think that kind of limits you because people want to hear that gang banging thing? Like obviously, you know, it is like with my music. I'm just um, speaking my reality. Do yeah. you know what I mean? So there, there, there's always um, references in there mm. that are kind of like what people want to hear. But I'm not really like I'm I'm put like I'm spitting my reality in yeah. it. Do you know what I mean? So it's like my reality might not what not, might not be what people want to hear. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But I'm fine with that in it. Mm. You know what I mean? Because. I'm just I'm growing in it. Like, I'm growing as like each song comes out, man's growing. But yeah, no, I've noticed that a lot of um, artists that do put more violent like lyrics in their songs are gaining bigger fan bases. Like do have bigger fan bases, but I'm all real. Like, so mm. I'm not putting in I'm not putting in anything that don't relate to me. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And like, no disrespect, but a lot of artists are actually like putting in a lot of lyrics that don't. Do you know what I mean? That like, mm. apply to them. Do you know what I mean? I hear so that. A lot of people not really speaking their reality, kind of just. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I see your your, your video also done hundred k in a month. I mean, yeah. you must be proud of that as well. Is yeah. that is that something you anticipated or you wasn't sure how how you'd be received? Obviously, like I, I released a song called uh, FIFA on my own channel. Yeah. That's got hundred and uh, hundred and twenty seven k or something yeah. right now. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah, the Yeah Fam one that I released that got um, 100k in a month, I kind of knew like it, it was going to, like, that was my face reveal, wasn't it? Yeah. So I kind of knew that oh, people would, were going to... Oh, you wear a mask? Yeah, I used to before. wear a mask, yeah. So I was like, I knew people are like, yo, who's this guy behind all these crop yard videos? Like, mm. I knew that like, people were kind of like waiting to see, because I always used to cover up on um, Snapchat. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So what, what, was the, what was the thinking behind covering up and revealing yourself now? I'll be real, there's that... Like, um, the reason why I stopped uh, covering up is because one time I got stopped and like literally feds just said my said my name just said yo J dot yeah and I was like oh <laughs> shit that do you know what I mean mm. but the reason why I used to cover up was literally because of the authorities isn't it mm. but once I've kind of realised like they already know, they know who you are already yeah it's like no point now it's only a matter of time in it mm. to take off my mask and. And obviously, at the same time, it was kind of just a trend in it. Like, I kind of probably just followed the trend as well in it. But yeah, because like, I'm because I'm uh, rapping my reality. I was like, you know what? Let me just um, put a mask on. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, I mean, I see in it was in your, your video a T and Wayne made an appearance. I mean, how did that come about? How did you meet um, them in Edmonton and stuff like that? Yeah, so obviously, I met my manager Dylan. Obviously, he's my my brethren before manager, yeah. but I met him in jail in Pentagon. Okay. So, um, yeah, like we went, how many jails did we go together? Basically, we've like, been, like, in, the, in the sentence, in our sentence, we've been to three of the same jails, innit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, obviously, we started off in Pentagon, he went, um, he went to Swinton Hall. Okay. I went to Swinton Hall after. Then, obviously, when I was in Spring Hill, I just missed him, innit? Like, he got to Spring Hill. And then, yeah, like, I got out, like, four months before him. Okay. So, I was out. And then, when he come out, he hit me up, linked up. And then, yeah, like, the relationship was, the relationship was genuine from Joe anyway. Mm. Like, it was, like, we was tight from Joe. And then come out, linked up. I remember when, um, uh, Tim Westwood. Yeah. Tim Westwood, because the free time free lot were doing, um, a Tim Westwood. Yeah. And then yeah, just like, I met Wayne there basically, and just introduced each other and just built built a relationship from there. Yeah, mate. When you when you when you go back to two and Wayne, tell tell him I got a bone to pick with him. I'll tell you why. Yeah, two thousand and I think nineteen no two thousand eighteen. Mm. Right. I take the man them to jail, innit? I go to different jails, so yeah. I took the lights to Joel Black, Dappy, Tricky. Mm. We go to different jails and play matches. So we must have gone to Portland. And obviously, Tion Wayne had a big afro. I didn't even clock it was him. And Joe Black was like, oh, that's Tion Wayne. Mm. We played their match and everything. I mean, he scored a goal. He, he must have moved to Joe Black and it gave him a shoulder bar. He's got a goal. So I asked him, like, yo, when you come out here, yeah, like, come and do a match with us again for the chat. He's like, yeah, 100%. I'm there. Came out, messaged me on Insta. Afterwards, missing. 
All right, Tion, we, we ain't heard from you like in two years. That, that body money, like... <laughs> We can't hear from him again, but but he's doing great things. They're looking for more for He's doing amazing. So shout out to him. Shout out to him still. Yeah. But I get it. I get it. We get mm. it. People come out of jail busy and so on. Very I mean, busy, man. Very yeah, busy. Hundred no, percent. I phoned this guy like five times today. Yeah, no yeah. answer. No answer. But he did find, ended up phoning me back. But while I was phoning him, he was posting on Snapchat mm. in the tweet. You get You've me? Probably you seen your phone. Oh, fucking hell, I've, man. Got a, I've got a bone to pick me with as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean, like, who's your sort of? Who you listen to? And I know you said before you should listen to before, but who you kind of who are your your peers now that you're listening to? You think you know what that person there is inspiring me, and you know what I'm, I'm trying to go into this lane and so on. Like who who are you looking at the who moment? Who am I listening to right now? I'm kind of listening to everyone. Like, I keep up with everyone's music. Mm. So um, right now, right now, right now, it's like Central C's doing his thing. I'm listening to him, Digger D, Heady One, Tion. Um, yeah, like, who else, who else, who else, who else, Ross, literally, like, I listen to everybody, man, I can't mm. lie, I listen to a bit of everything, but I don't listen to Americans, though. Yeah. Like, literally. Do you think, because Tion posted something yesterday, which I posted, we posted, was about, he sees someone in the UK now getting to a point, I mean, I said 100 million, I said, buddy, yo, some footballers don't even have 100 million yet, but cool, yeah. I see what he's trying to say. Yeah. I'm looking at it now myself saying that UK is probably the most influential place to be in the world like in terms of just Americans are copying us now the, the, the fashion and so on do you see the UK getting to a point that because like you just said you don't even listen to U- US to yeah. be fair I don't listen to US no more to be fair US, well. do you see the UK being the sort of the epicenter of the next musical wave that's really going to be create the next big superstar uh, you know what like obviously you know, it is it's just something about um, Americans. I don't know that. Like, I don't know how they push their their thing, but it's just like they always, for some reason, then way more numbers than mm. UK artists. You know what I mean? But like, but remember, America's fifty states, and all states yeah. are probably bigger than England. Yeah, exactly. But what, where, where is the point that where people are tapping in and looking in? Like Jake yeah. always come over here trying to see what he can do. Yeah, so yeah. do you think it's gonna get to a point that where England's gonna have that big worldwide superstar? And if so. Who can you kind of see at that point, right? I'll, I'll be honest. I'm not like obviously. I don't know who. Mm. I know it, it definitely could happen, though. Like it definitely could happen, yeah. but I couldn't. I couldn't put my finger on like who is gonna be. Do you know what I mean? Because you know what it is, yeah. Like a lot of um, UK artists, they don't really have mad like longevity. Do you yeah. know what I mean? They're always, always here for a bit a lot of art, UK artists are here for a bit called names buzzing four or five years and then like, right here from them again. yeah you know really like no one's really following mm. what they're doing do you know what I mean so like, I don't know what that's down to I Me, mean saying I, that for you then what lessons do you take from that because like you're here now trying to get into the scene make yeah. yourself mainstream yeah. how long do you see yourself lasting is, is this a long term thing or you know what let's quickly get that money do what you need to do and nah. off to another venture like obviously, I believe in my, I believe in myself in it. So, mm. I, me personally, I think I'm gonna be here for a long time. I mean, know? do you want a long term, long term? Yeah, career, yeah. Or are you yeah trying to get the nah, money nah. and do else. Obviously, like the money's sweet and that. What? Nah, that like, I'm actually here. That like, mm. I think I want to be here for a long time. Still. And do you see yourself sort of doing different sort of genres as well? Or you yeah, no, nah, different. Like, I'm, like, I'm versatile. That's one thing. Like, give me any beat, whether it's drill. Uh, rap, like um, any type beat, bro. Like no, no, no Congolese singing, no Congolese rumba, collab with Fali. Nah, you know what it is? I might um, obviously me and and that ID ID Pizzle was yeah. talking. Me and ID Pizzle was talking, so we should be linking up and doing something. Okay. So I'm actually gonna like take that sound. Like what we're gonna do, we're gonna we should take that to the motherland. You know what I mean? Mm. Like. Because he, he's, he's sort of, I know he's been sort of saying, say, um, sort of Congo Jew or Rumba Jew, whatever yeah, yeah, you yeah. say, so yeah. Like, see the song that I released, FIFA, on my own channel, that was like a drill version of um, Premier Gaou. Okay. That like, literally, um, you get me, like, the, you know the tune I'm talking mm. about. You get me, so man uh, made that into a drill song. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, like, yeah, man, uh, see myself doing, like, a few more things like that. I mean, I mean, apart from um, ID Pizzle, like who else are you sort of looking to collaborate with in the near future? Um, and do you have a sort of a project that you're working on? What, what's the angle for the next year? 
right now I'm just um, focusing on releasing singles. Do you know what I mean? I want to get more of that recognition before I start thinking about dropping any projects. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Obviously, there's people that on me like, yeah, Jay, don't release a mixtape, release a mixtape, but I don't want um, to release something that's gonna be underlooked. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. It's kind of like man just being patient with it, releasing singles every month or two. Do you know what I mean? Just like trying to tap in. Are you looking to do any shows this year or are you going to um, push that for really for next yeah, nah, year? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, my manager deals is um, pattern couple of shows. I'm not 100% sure as of yet what dates and that. But mm. After this interview, I'll definitely be um, uh, verifying that what mm. dates and that digitally. So, yeah, man. It's looking, it's looking good. Yeah. I, like. I mean, and, and what's mom sort of saying now, the transition? Like, is she listening to your music or is she saying, like, as African mums, then what is this she, now? She's on me, man. Yeah, yeah, she's listening to my music, but she's trying to pull me off with every single, yeah. every single lyric. Like, <laughs> oh, what does this mean? Like, like, Yo, it means that, like, you know what I mean? It means mm. this or means that. But literally, yeah, she's on me, but she's supporting me, though. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I would say, how, support, how, how does it feel to have a supportive family? I sort of believe, like I said, your brother's coming here today as well. Yeah, yeah. How does it feel to have that people actually believing in what you're doing? It's, it's good still, obviously, my bro. When I, when I was uh, starting, the, like, when I said I'm taking the music seriously, so you're beat, man, you're beat, man, you're going to get us begged on that. Yeah, mm. all of that. <laughs> <laughs> you get me, you like, oh, but obviously, no, no, it's, not, it's just music, like, bro. Mm. Like, just, you get me, it's music, like, mm. you get me, you say, oh, Cool, but now. Nah. What himself? Is he, is he going to touch, touch the mic on a feature? He's done music like youth club days and that. Yeah. I'm telling you, oh, jump on something, can that? But he's not serious, man. Yeah, so no, you get I me. hear that, I hear that. Yeah. But like I said, like for me personally, like I didn't know too much, but I, I feel like I've got to know you a bit more. You seem that like you've got a great personality in that as well. Yeah. I mean, again, sort of touching um, on sort of the youth now and sort of new him, we're seeing it. Do you ever see, I interviewed Vils the other day and I'm going to interview different people. Do you ever see a point that where Newham comes to a place of peace or do you think that so much is done now until these people are old and grey they'll see each other they're walking sticks and be like yo, yo. <laughs> uh, um, obviously where I'm not involved in it I can't really comment whether I, it, 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 like I don't know if I'm being honest with you I don't see it stopping anytime soon innit? Like, mm. me and Vils are actually cool I went to school with him like, we're actually cool you know yeah. what I mean? but like if I'm being honest with you um, I don't really I don't see it stopping anytime soon, do you mm. know what I mean? Obviously, a lot's happened. A lot's happened in the ends and that, but it's like, me, what I would say is don't be encouraging, um, don't be encouraging people you have influence uh, over to be getting involved, mm. do you know what I mean? Because a lot of people end up um, being involved in beef they don't know nothing about. A lot of young ones are being recruited into the system. Yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? And that's that's not just new. I mean, that's just like everywhere. That's mm. just that like, everywhere. Like some people probably won't even be able to tell you why they don't like certain areas or why mm. they don't like certain people. Do you know what I mean? So me, me personally, I want like, like a thing like if there's a reason, if you've done something to my family or you've mm. done something to affect my pockets, then. Uh, if if you've done that, then yeah, we've got we've got a problem. But yeah. if you haven't done that, well, uh, let's network, man. Let's make money. Let's move. Mm. Let's move on, man. You know what I mean? Let's move forward in life. That mm. you know what I mean? Literally. That's and, my and, and in regards to sort of the next single, when is that due? And what have you got any plans for that video shoot? Um, so I've got like a video trailer. I'm gonna drop in like five days or something. So mm. yeah. Um, yeah, that one was that that one is with YP and Carter Carty. Mm. They're obviously from my area, they're from like Cannon Town, Costa Mouse. Yeah. And um yeah, literally just gonna be trying to drop consistently every month or two and then just yeah, just keep my foot on everybody's necks. I hear that, I hear that man. Well guys, that was J Dot. All real Jada on Insta. Yeah. How was the Bob's type of one more time? <laughs> it was banging, man. Definitely, yo. Every Go Sunday, every that, Sunday. Every Sunday. I'm going to finish that off now. Well, so. <laughs> nah, I appreciate yeah. it, man, bro. Big yourself yeah. up, man. Love, bro. Yeah, man. That's Big Ego Media. Yeah.